In life, nothing is guaranteed. Few things are certain. But one thing is, no one gets to the top alone. At age 21, Lance Weir was a walk-on college football player and a Marine Corps reservist. His future was wide open. Then, an accident on a canoe trip turned his world upside down. On August 8, 1993, I unlodged a canoe from a rapid, um, turned around, threw my hat in the water, and was going to lean in to cool off, and uh, went in head first and shattered my C5 vertebrae. He was a quadriplegic. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, and months turned into years as Lance struggled to cope with his new reality. I went back home to small town Arkansas and found myself before I knew it severely depressed and you know which led to addiction and thoughts of suicide. It was a it was a, a bad time. Things began to turn around when Lance received a service dog and moved to California. In San Diego, he connected with the Challenged Athletes Foundation and its biggest supporter, NBA legend, Bill Walton. Lance Weir is my best friend. He's also the greatest athlete I've ever seen. This guy has shown us about resilience, about discipline, about commitment, about sacrifice, about the team. And none of us can ever understand how hard it is for him, how early he has to get up in the morning, how much pain is involved, how much work goes into getting it all ready. I first met Lance in 2008. It was at a service dog graduation. I told him, come on over to Camp Pendleton. It's some Marine Corps Warrior Game Trials. Let's get you into some sports. What about shooting? All Marines shoot. So that's when he started Air Rifle. And he got pretty darn good at it. In 2011, Lance joined the CAF Million Dollar Challenge, a seven day, 620 mile bicycle ride from San Francisco to San Diego. But something was missing. He was riding in a car, not on a bike. Brothers Andy and Rodney Boyd decided to do something about it. And although I was having a great time and seeing things I'd never seen before, I just felt a little bit disconnected. I was an athlete growing up. That was what I, you know, what I took pride in. And so to watch them do that was not easy. And I kind of tongue in cheek said, well, you know, if you can get a bike, Rodney and I will pull you down the coast. And not really thinking that a bike like that even would exist and that if it did that Lance would find it. The next year Lance was back on a custom tandem hand cycle of his own. The ride started disastrously with a broken chain in the first mile but the second day brought a breakthrough. Andy's like we're gonna go up Bixby Bridge and I'm like let's go up Bixby Bridge. When we topped the top of the hill and stopped for a minute, the, the, the winds shifted and the clouds opened up and you could see the ocean. It was just, there was a moment for me. I um, had done something I'd never thought I'd ever do. Each year that followed, Lance and his ever-growing peloton made it a little farther down the coast. Finally, in 2015, they reached their goal and cycled every single mile. That finish line marked the start of even greater challenges and a greater purpose. Lance had developed a strong bond with Andy's son, Chase, who battled Duchenne muscular dystrophy throughout his young life. When he passed, the writers renamed themselves Team Chase 
and dedicated their efforts to his memory. Chase and I had a lot of the same similar struggles and so we connected with each other. His disability was worse than mine which made me think that much more of him because he was such an old soul and, and never had a never had a disappointing look on his face, although I could feel it in his voice sometimes. If I hadn't gone on the journey with Chase, I would have never been on the path to see Lance's journey. And being able to connect with Lance has been a lifesaver for me. I mean, it's been um, a, lot of, a lot of grace in my life. Now, thanks to the power of connection, no ride is too epic. No challenge is too tough. And no mountain is too high. So many of us have spent our lives on our bikes. But until you've ridden your bike with Lance Weir, you have not been on a bike. They're getting to the top together.